True with Guns America, today we're taking a first look at Armasite's brand new operator clip-on thermal optic. Okay, so if you don't know what a clip-on is, this is what it is. It's a thermal that goes out in front of your day scope or your red dot, and it attaches quite quickly. This one has an, a fantastic uh, ADM manufacturing. It's American Defense, uh, quick detach. Uh, it just connects to your Picatinny rail. It sets this up so that it sits exactly 1.5 inches above your pick rail, and it just simply clips on here and you lock this lever down and it's just on there so this is rated for up to 50 cal uh, is what this is rated for it's rated for negative 40 and up to 122 degrees fahrenheit so this thing is made tough it's made to take recoil it's made to take actual hard duty type use so this is not a chinese product uh, armor site's pretty proud of the fact that the a lot of their parts are made here in the u.s um, I couldn't get into exactly what, but I know that they are that they source as much as they possibly can from the U.S. So, a couple of other things here, really quickly. This, and I'm going to pop this off just to show you. Um, this is a 35 millimeter germanium lens on the end of this. It is a 640 sensor in this, so it's the latest greatest. It's 12 micron pixel pitch. It's a net 40 D for sensitivity, which that's how fine a measurements and temperature it can uh, resolve. Uh, Armasite claims that it can see a man-sized target or detect it out to 1300 yards. Um, let's just quickly talk through some of the features and how things work here. This knurled knob out here on the end is the focus wheel. So once it's on, on your gun, this is what you focus for distance. So you roll this and it will come into focus for distance. Now, this is a clip on, this is not a do it all. This isn't meant to be mounted on your helmet. It's definitely too big and too heavy. It's um, way higher performance than what you would want as far as that goes. Um, it does not have any way to adjust a, for focus up here for your eye. So essentially it needs to be in front of an optic that has a diopter that adjusts because that's what makes the screen come into focus for you. So it's not that you can't see through this, it's just not really super clear. Uh, and I suppose if you had the right eye prescription, it would be, but for me, it's fuzzy. So, but when I look through it through the scope on one power, it's crystal clear, crisp, all that stuff. On the right side of it here, we have a pick rail and you could sideways mount a red dot on this. You could put a range finder on it. I mean, honestly, whatever you can imagine put on a pick rail could be mounted right there. This knurled cap comes off and that's where your USB port is. That would allow you to run an external battery pack or you know, pull your video and photos off of this, which speaking of video and photos, this will take video and photos internally. Now here's the thing that it won't do, and here's the reason this will make sense to you guys that understand clip-ons, is that because it's out here in front of the scope, you're actually aiming with the reticle that's in your day scope. And this is the huge advantage of a clip-on, is that um, you can be out running around in the daytime where you don't want a thermal and running your day scope and then as it starts to get dark or does get dark or you need to be able to see instead of having to run a white light uh and being able to see like maybe 150 yards with that at best and give away your position you can pop this out of your backpack you clip it on right in front of your scope it goes right back to the, it uses the zero that's in this scope and you're able to accurately shoot as far as you can make shots with your one to six LPVO. So Armor Sight's owner's manual does recommend the use of a one to six LPVO. I see no reason why like a one to 10 from Vortex, like the Razor HD wouldn't be fine or a one to eight from somebody else. But um, yeah, you're gonna want an LPVO because it has that adjustable diopter. Uh, what else? Um, so that's kind of the, that's the huge advantage. Now, are you gonna get more performance out of a dedicated thermal scope? Absolutely you are. And the reason I got onto this is because I was gonna tell you that when you record video through this, there's no reticle. So if you're shooting stuff, you're gonna just see a video with no reticle, so you're not gonna actually see how your shot was lined up. And that's because the reticle is in here and the recorder is out here. And so you'd have to be recording from behind this in order to see the reticle 
uh, in line with your shot. And that's just how clip-ons work. That's how all of them work. This isn't something that's special to Armasite. That's just how they work. So guys, these are cool. They're versatile. You can swap them from gun to gun. You could, you know, you could have different zeros uh, that you record because they give you the, the numbers inside and you can move the screen around to, to match different guns and setups. But that's how this is designed to be used is as a clip-on. Let's talk about the menu and the button system. So one of my pet peeves is when you get 50 million buttons on top of a thermal because you're using these things in the dark and it's often hard to know what button you're pushing and it's hard to find them. So these are very um, well shaped. The center button is your power. You hold that down for three seconds and the unit turns on. Um, and then you can short press it for a menu. You can long press it for a more extended menu. Uh, and then of course you have front and rear buttons that will go through the menu or that by themselves do different things. So like for example, the back one here, if you hold, if you push that, it will turn on the video recording. If you long press it, it does like a photo. The front one, if you hold it down, changes through the color palettes, which I'm gonna, you're gonna test my memory here. They have white hot, black hot, rainbow, a target mode and like a sepia mode. And there might be one more, but that's basically what it has. And I'll run through those here uh, in just a second. But um, yeah, there's, and then there's ways to, to kind of bore sight this so you can turn a reticle on inside of the scope itself and and help uh, when you shoot your gun for zero, wherever the bullet lands, you can actually take this reticle and move it over to that. It makes it really easy to sight this in compared to some other clip-ons where they're not easy to sight in. Uh, it takes two CR123 batteries uh, and they're supposed to last about four hours, which is a pretty decent long time on a thermal like this. Uh, and that is in, I believe like, around 40 degrees Celsius temperature, because of course temperature changes and affects that stuff. But that's essentially the features um, of how this clip one works. Um, I already ran you through the specs. Like I said, it's a 35 millimeter objective. It's a 640. Oh, it's a 1024 uh, display inside. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's definitely an upgrade uh, on, a, on a clip on from what we've sometimes seen. Anyway, the, the retail price on this, this isn't a firearm, so I think I'm okay telling you what this is, but this the retail is right at $4,000. So for a heavy duty, 50 BMG rated, hard use, and look, a lot of these thermals are not meant to go below like negative four Fahrenheit and like just barely over 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and this one is rated for negative 40. So this one is actually legit as far as being able to take some hard, hard use and still keep rolling anyway i'm going to clip it back on here and then i'm going to run through the menus and we'll show you some of that as b-roll uh, as i in fact maybe we should just talk about it here so what i'm going to do so it's off right now i can't if i look through my lpvo it's just a black screen i'm going to hold the button down for three seconds and then what comes up and i got my, this turned up what comes up is the armor site menu and it's on now it's ready to, to, to roll and if i focus this out a little bit um, I'm looking out into the distance now with this scope. So let me just show you what we got going on here by, I'm going to start by recording. So this is now recording and I can, you can see this now as we talk about it. Um, but you can see that the reticle is currently on inside and to turn that on or off, we do a short press and we press it again. And this, this goes through, uh, f the different presets for us, default, um, I go back up here, forest, detect, indoors, sky and sea. Um, I think I actually like the detect mode the most. That's going to give you the most gain. You're going to see the most stuff. So if I press the menu button again, it allows me out of that part of the menu. I can go down here, the type of reticle. And this is for, this is, uh, for the purpose of zeroing right so i just turned the reticle off as you can see so that's how but you would use that reticle to help you zero should you want to do that so i just move the menu again this is the brightness is currently set to five and if we go one more time um there we go we'll go back up to five all right, if I long press this, it turns the menu off. As you can see up there, it has a compass reading. It tells us it's recording. It shows me that I'm not quite level. And as I move the scope back and forth, it will actually help me get that level. You can see the negative two, negative one, 
and I don't know if I'm going to get it quite. There we go. There's a zero. And then it also has can't up and down. So right there is where level is. Um, if I long press the menu button, you can see it gives me a more advanced menu. And there's an enhancement option. There's the bore side option. There's a video or there's a preview so we can see what we recorded. Uh, there's a compass. This, there's other settings right there. And then we could go into the about. If we hold it down and exit. Now, if we push the forward button and we just push it once, it actually zooms in. It gives us a digital zoom. And what digital zoom is, is it's just like zooming in on a photograph on your phone or on your computer. The closer in you get, the more pixely it gets. So we're back out of that. If we hold this down, it's going to change the color palettes. So as you can see, that's, a, that's like a bluish colored white hot. This is a black hot. This is the rainbow. This is the target mode. This is the sepia mode. And I actually like the sepia mode the best. It seems to be a little easier on my eyes in the dark. So anyway, guys, we're going to do some shooting with this. And um, normally I'd go out and try and shoot an animal, some hogs or coyotes or something like that. But uh, this is more of not a hunting optic. You certainly can use it for that. It certainly will work just fine for that. But this is more of like what I want in my safe in a Faraday bag. Uh, ready to rock and roll should things get rough because it's literally this simple to pop it on and off and have it have your gun just be in its normal configuration pop this out stick it on and you're ready to rock just like that and this is still recording as you can see uh, but I mean it's on and it's fast startup all that so look clip-ons don't work great inside buildings they um, windows uh, reflect like mirrors and so you see yourself in them you can't see through them so i'd probably mount like a red dot right here at 12 o'clock if you're going to have nods that way you could passive aim through your red dot and nods not using any infrared lasers or uh, light means you're not going to have any signature at all with this uh, thermal is really where it's at because so many third world countries and people now even have camcorders and cameras that can detect IR so I think it still works great for clearing houses and all that but once you get outside and you start pointing IR around it's just like waving a spotlight so thermal is going to let you go undetected it's going to give you the ability to shoot and see stuff uh, before anybody else sees you or, or whatever else but anyway that's the Armasite operator tell us what you think in the comments it's the new 640 appreciate you guys watching please hit that like subscribe and share button we'll see you on the next video